Hello and welcome to another edition of this week's Lab Rats. So over the course of the last several weeks, we've been studying plants in quite a bit of detail. We've done a number of experiments with them. We've looked at them under microscopes. We've, we've studied their cell structure. We've determined, you know, how they actually transport water and different, you know, sugars and, and salts and, and whatnot around their bodies. So this week I figured that we would use some of the materials that were, we, we provided in that, um, in that lab kit that we handed out in the fall and actually study not only plants and their cells, because that's a component of this, but electricity as well. So electricity, I'm sure we're all familiar with electricity. It's what turns the lights on um, and how electricity works on a very fundamental level, on a very basic level, is that it's the transfer of charged particles and atoms. So we learned about atoms and that they're made up of positive and negative charged forces. And electricity is basically generated and perpetuated by the transfer of these positive and negative particles. So on a basic level, that's what you really need to understand. So in this lab kit, you will find that there's a little bag and it has this little kind of clock thing inside of it. And it has a red wire and a black wire. Those wires are actually um, the, the, the metal that is inside of them that's covered by this plastic strip here is actually copper. So copper is a is a metal that is actually mined out of northern Saskatchewan. There are copper deposits. We can learn about that later in these labs, you know, where exactly copper comes from and, and why it's important. But it's really important for conducting electricity. It's really good at conducting electricity. And we, uh, you will also find that there's these little rods and these rods are made of zinc. And zinc is another type of metal. It's also mined in northern Saskatchewan or there's deposits of it in northern Saskatchewan is maybe what I should say. Um, you know, fun little side fact, all those deposits are actually uh, originating from ancient extinct volcanoes. That's something that we can talk about a little bit later when we start covering some geological concepts in this lab. But that's the fundamental thing that you need to understand. Metals are really good at conducting electricity. So what we're going to do today is you need to cut a potato in half. And why, why use a potato? Um, you can use other fruits and whatnot, but we're going to use potatoes. That's what I gave you in your lab kit. You will notice that there's a white wire, okay? So there's, there's this white plastic covering, covering this wire. What you're gonna do is, first of all, you will notice that on these little zinc um, rods here, that there's a little hole in them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this through the hole and we're just gonna wrap it around and that should be good enough, that'll, that'll hold. And uh, on the fork, we're gonna use this end to obviously stab into the potato. But on this side, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tape it. We're gonna tape that, that little um, wire to, to this fork. So we're just gonna tape this, or you can use sticky tack. I gave you guys sticky tack in your, in your lab kits. Um, so there we go, we have this, and we're just gonna stick one end into the potato and this end into the other side of the potato. So there we go. On this, we're gonna use the red wire and we're going to connect the red wire to the fork and the black wire to the zinc. So we'll just use this right now. We'll thread this through our little zinc plate. We'll wrap it around. And then we'll take this and we'll tape it. We'll just tape it like this or sticky tack it because you guys have sticky tack, which will probably be more useful. But if you find the sticky tack doesn't work, just use tape, it's all the same. And then what we're gonna do, let's see if I can, we're gonna stick the zinc end into this, okay? There's actually co plastic covering this. Uh, we're gonna stick the zinc end into the side with the fork, just like this. And we're gonna stick the fork into this side of the potato here. And what should happen is our clock should actually start working. And it does, it starts working. So this is conducting electricity. So you're probably thinking, how exactly does this work? Well, as we learned in, in last weeks, particularly the last two weeks with our, um, with our osmosis experiments is that there are a lot of salts and sugars inside of cells. Those salts and sugars help and, and water, there's also water obviously that we learned inside of cells. Those salts, sugars, and waters are actually really, really, really good at, at transferring electricity. So between the copper, the copper wire goes into the zinc, it goes down and then it arcs and comes back 
and actually creates basically a circuit, just like a battery would. So we have essentially created a battery, just like you would use in a toy or like you would use in electric vehicles. This is the fundamental concept of how electricity is actually created. I'll try to keep this pointed your way so you can actually see that it's conducting electricity. This will continue, you could leave it, this will continue to, to conduct electricity until all of the electrons, remember electrons are the negatively charged ones, protons are the positively charged particles in an atom, until all of those little particles have been kicked off of the zinc. It's really the zinc that's kind of creating this reaction. When all of those particles have been kicked off of the zinc, this will stop conducting electricity. But what you can do is you can snip the end off your, off your zinc and you can just keep inserting it into the potato and it'll keep working. So until you have basically no rod left. So yeah, this is, this is a fundamental concept. This is how electricity works. This is how batteries work, but we're, we just made a battery out of, uh, out of a potato. And the reason for that is because of these fundamental concepts we're learning from plants. We're basically taking all the things that we learned about atoms, all the things we learned about plants, and, and uh, applying them into learning a new concept about electricity and how batteries work. So we've just kind of, this should basically prove to you that you've learned a lot throughout the course of the last several months, that you can connect all these different ideas and concepts. So give that a try, try it out. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in this video below and I'll see you guys next week.